let's take a look at how to solve for an oblique triangle. An oblique triangle, simply put, is just a triangle that does not contain any 90 degree angles. Okay, so it's a non-right triangle. So in general, say this is our oblique triangle. I'm going to identify angles with capital letters and identify sides with lowercase letters. So at the bottom left, let me call this angle A. And then moving clockwise, we'll have angle B and then angle C. The sides opposite of those will be their lowercase letters. So opposite angle A is lowercase a, and then lowercase b. And then the lowercase of C looks a lot like uppercase, so just be really careful there that it does look different. So anytime you have an oblique triangle, you cannot apply right triangle trigonometry, so we need something different. Uh, the first thing we'll look at is the law of sines. And the law of sine states that if I take the sine of, let's say, angle A, its ratio with the side A will be proportionate to if I do this with, let's say, angle B. So sine of angle B and its ratio with side B. This will also be proportionate with if I do the same thing with angle C. So if you look at this formula, it's actually kind of a three in one. First one is showing us that sine of angle A over side A is equal to sine of angle B over side B. The second one is showing us with angle B and angle C. And then if I cover up the middle one there, there's one relating angle A and angle C. So this is actually a three in one formula. One thing to keep in mind anytime you're applying law of sines is to find the given ratio. So there'll be an angle with its corresponding side. Once you figure out which one you have, then you can figure out which formula, part of the formula that you should use. So let's look at a case where we have two angles and a side. So for this example, let's say we have angle A being 40 degrees and angle B is 60 degrees. And we have side A being four. So the first thing I notice is that I have an angle with this corresponding side, so the law of sines will work here. Let me show why this is called an SAA example. So if I were to draw this picture, angle A is at the bottom uh, left part of the triangle, that's 45 degrees, so or 40 degrees, and then 60 degrees is up at the top, so something like this. So we're given angle A of 40 degrees and angle B of 60 degrees. So I have an angle followed by an angle. And then I have the side opposite of 40 being 4. So I have an angle, then an angle, then a side. Or you can read it as side, angle, angle. So SAA, side, angle, angle. Okay, the given ratio that we're going to use is the one involving A. So that means the sine of 40 degrees over 4 is going to be proportionate with angle B and its side B and angle C and its side C. So what I'm going to do is identify what I don't have right now, and that's angle C. I'm going to use a black color for that one. I'm going to use blue for, uh, let's say, side B. And then I'm going to use red for side C. So the first thing I can find pretty easily is angle C, because all these angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to take the given angles away from 180. So 180 minus 40 minus 60 is going to give us 80 degrees. Okay, so angle C is done. Let's find side B by using the given ratio of sine 40 degrees over 4. Now this is going to be proportionate with involving side B, so sine of angle B over side B. Angle B is given, so we know this as sine of 60 degrees over B. Okay, so this middle step is not necessary. I'm just showing you the relationship there. 
So now I have an equation where I can solve for b. So cross multiplying, I have b sine 40 degrees equaling 4 sine 60 degrees. So solving for b, we have 4 sine 60 degrees over sine of 40 degrees. So that would be the exact answer to get an approximation. The first thing I would do is make sure that my calculator is in degree mode, which it is. So then we have 4 sine 60 divided by the sine of 40. So rounding to two decimal places, we get about 5.39. Okay, one more side to find, which is side C. Keep in mind that this is not a right triangle. So Pythagorean theorem does not apply. I can't do 4 squared plus B squared is C squared because this is not a right triangle. So once again, I'm going to use the law of sine to find, find side C using the given ratio of sine 40 degrees over 4. This is now going to be equal to sine of angle C, which we found in our first step there, so sine of 80 degrees over sine C. And again, cross multiplying, we would have C sine 40 degrees equaling 4 sine 80 degrees. So C is going to be 4 sine 80 degrees over sine 40 degrees. Or about 6.13.